We're here at the Stadio Luigi Ridolfi, just a short walk from where exactly 40 years ago to the day Sebastian Coe broke the 800 meters world. Meters, and they are ready at the top of the home straight. Men's 100 this year. Uh, just this week, Marvin Bracey was not far behind him in Florida. Quick times in Florida uh, right throughout the season, really. But let's see if we can get something quick here tonight. Mudian Salage from Sri Lanka lives in Italy, so has not uh, far to come. CJ Green, Antigua, 25 year old. His uh, 10 second flat again was, uh, was in the same place in Miramar, in Florida. CJ uh, Uja from Great Britain, US based now, uh, but raced here in Italy. Uh, about six, seven days ago. Michael Rogers, the 36-year-old veteran from the USA now. He goes in lane four. Fresh from a chilly night in Turku in Finland, where he finished second in the 100 meters there. The Karni Simbine, first time we've seen him. He uh, ran 999 in the South African Championships, National Championships, so the quickest in the field so far this season. Then we got Arthur Cisse. 200 last year from Cissé and uh, in reasonable form this year. Emmanuel Matadi, he goes in lane seven, 30 year old Liberian. And then on the outside, fresh from his national championships as well, as a, a win in the 100 and the 200 meters, Ali Harvey from Turkey. Difficult to really see here who you'd uh, pin your money on here. Sambine, as I said, the quickest in the field, but into Europe here was her first look at the Diamond League season. Mike Rogers, the American in four, Ujaz in three, Cissé perhaps in six, meter final. World lead, you can see 977, don't think we'll see that tonight, but let's see if we can get close or under 10 seconds to finish off what's been a cracking night. Rogers as ever gets out well, so does Ujar and uh, Green next to him, and Green perhaps just a little bit of a lead, and then it's coming through right in the middle there, Simbine going well, and it's going to be, ooh, Simbine gets it from CJ Ujar, very close, 10 8 well, he wasn't as quick as uh, one or two of the others out of the blocks, but what a strong finish from the South African. He did start as the warm favourite, Ujar to the South African, 10-0-8. And I think he'll be pretty happy to have got the win here. As I said, it was an open field from that uh, nasty back injury. And he will be pleased, I'm sure. Let's, let's uh, just uh, have a look at this again. You're right, Steve. The, the best start was actually by uh, Atio Cisse, third from left, the picture in the orange vest. But uh, Simbine got into his running and Uja coming back strongly. 0-3 in Walnut, which was uh, a terrific performance. The disappointment of uh, missing the World Championships in... Yeah, holds his form nice, just beginning to let it go a little bit. Uh, Ucha, as you're saying, pushing him all the way. Uh, we know that sometimes, uh, not to cast any aspersions on those times in Florida, but and that rounds off what has been a marvellous night. The 100 metres might not have the performances there, but we've seen them all over. So many world leads. <laughs>